Hello guys, this is Wangali with Two Chic Chicks here today with a video. Well, let me just tell you how my dating started trying to video. I come in running in after work, so this is me after work. And I made this, I said, well Wangali, when you come in, don't change your clothes and stuff, just go ahead and get started and stuff. I have got caught in the rain, it has been raining here, so my hair is a hot mess, but I was able to pull it back. Oh, your girl able to get a pony. Hold on, y'all. It's a little, and it is a pony. I don't have no tail, but it is a pony. <laughs> but um, now I am, you know, got a little ponytail going on. But I pulled my hair back so I can do this video. I didn't want to take no time trying to rejudge nothing and trying to get myself looking all cuter and stuff. I don't think I can get no cuter, do you? But, um... If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. If you'll do me a favor, and if you would like to support me, to go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all my videos as soon as they upload. Now, with saying that, I would like to definitely say thank you to my all-time subbies, my ride or dies. Thank you so much for coming back again and sharing some time with me today. I appreciate it. And I just want to let everyone know, if I haven't been coming up in your feed, do me a favor and go ahead and click that notification bell again. And you know, you're, you know you subscribe, but I haven't been coming up in your feed. Please go ahead again and hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. And just to support me, if you all could like this video, that would be great. And comment. Hmm, that would be good. My video today is going to be on me just showing you what's in my hair in my hair care line just all the stuff I have in my you know can do how I even store my hair hair care items and just walk you through some of the things and talk about a few things that I have if it worked if it didn't work and all that so let's get into my little video let me show you my little storage on how I am storing all my things okay this is how I am storing all my hair care. It's a container that I got from Walmart, and I mean many, 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 many years ago. And I have all my hair care needs in here. And I have cleaned this out because it was just overflowing with stuff. So it has been cleaned out. And with this, um, I do intend to change this out I um, picked this up, like I said, at Walmart many years ago, and I am going to go to um, Ikea and pick up, I think there is, it's like a 10 drawer, so I'm going to take you through these drawers and just let you see the things I have inside of my hair care. Okay, so let's start with, I needed to update my, um, some of my hair care products some of the um, tools I use so recently I just ended up buying me a new flat iron and I just haven't had a place to put my flat iron and my new hair dryer my daughter bought me the hair dryer for Christmas I was and I say hair dryer bought me the blow dryer for Christmas and I bought myself because I found this on I think I found it on clearance and this is by and I think you call it Chi C H I and this gets um, hot up to 410 so the temperature goes up to 410 and it comes with this um, bag right here that you can put it in and it is a thermal bag that you can put it in and you know travel with so that's really cute I really like that it's rose gold so now we're gonna go through the drawers now I'm gonna go through this first drawer and this first drawer don't have a thing to do with hair care products this is where I have my sunglasses <laughs> because I had nowhere to put them. Just a few different sunglasses. That had nothing to do with hair care, sorry about that. But the next one, and here I have my, this is a mesh wrap, um, hair wrap to put on your head. I use these for when I dry my hair, when I uh, wrap my hair and I tie it around to um, dry my hair. And then this is just like a little cap of some sort. Oh, this is some of the hair that came out when I had the braids I kept some of the hair some of it I didn't this is just a plastic cap for when I do my um, deep conditioners to sit up under the hair dryer and here goes just a couple of silk caps 
that's a little silk cap so this is where my caps are and this look like my perm brush here um, hair pins is in there soon and a lot of like ties and stuff and a few big clamps that I use to hold my hair back when I'm doing my hair and a handheld mirror so this is where I keep my flexi rods when I want to wear it curly but I don't want to use the perm rods these are the rods I use I have two different sizes in here I have large and this is I guess kind of like a that's probably a quarter size and it's like a nickel size or something like that then this is where I put my perm rods I have a couple of different sizes in here so I have a couple of multiple sizes of perm rods in here and then these are the, the tissues um, that I these are end papers that I put on the end of my hair so my hair don't freeze because like I told you I'm relaxed so I try to make sure I don't frizz up my hair too much when I use the perm rods and right here I have another <laughs> plastic cap and I have my um, foaming this is what I use to um, put on my hair, this Shea Moisture. It's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioning Design Foam. No matter what hairstyle, this is what I use on my hair. My first time purchasing this one, I usually get the one by um, Carol's Daughter and it's the Milk and it's by Carol's Daughter and I like that a little bit more than this one. This one seems like it doesn't wet my hair as much, but when I was using this, I was needing a relaxer too the whole time. So I was trying to stretch my relaxer. So maybe because my hair was almost in its natural state is why. So I'm going to keep using it. So these are my rollers. And then I have clips in here for my rollers. And I do have a few of foam rollers right here. So these are foam rollers. And then the rest of them are just plastic rollers. So that's what I have in here. Now we come down to the products. So this is my Bantu. Everybody, this is my ride or die. I will always have Bantu in my arsenal. As long as they're making it, I will have it in my arsenal. Now, what this Bantu does is a yellow out conditioner. Now, I don't use it as a conditioner. I just use it basically to take the yellow off or discoloration off my gray hair. I use it basically after I have a relaxer because a relaxer will discolor gray hair. So I use it then and I use it sometimes like if I just feel my hair is not as bright as I think it should, I would um, use it also then. Now this is new product I've just started recently using and this is Nexus and it's the Clean and Pure line. I have a video coming up. I don't think it's out yet of um, me um, speaking about this. So here is Olaplex. Olaplex is used for, it's to, um, to strengthen your hair. It's for overprocessed, very damaged hair is what it's for. My hair is not overprocessed and it's not damaged. But you know, I did lose quite a bit of hair when I had the braids. So I started using this to hopefully help me. Now I did have the shampoo and conditioner and I used it with this. I didn't like the shampoo and conditioner too much. I haven't used it. I used it this last shampoo because I ran across it. I had forgotten about it. So I've started back using it. So we'll see how it works. But I do like it. I really do like it. Okay. Leave-in conditioner. This is what I've been using for the last two years. And this is um, Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. This is the leave-in conditioner. And like I was telling you about the um, the foaming gel, well, the styling foam is what it is. I was telling you about the styling foam. It's, it, I love the styling foam, but I also like this leave-in. Now, I learned one thing with this. I can't use too much and I'm a heavy product user I realized I couldn't use too much because it was weighing my hair down and with weighing it down it was um it made it I said it had a shine it was so shiny yeah this was making it so shiny I used enough of it to make it shiny <laughs> but I decided I had to stop using so much and start 
using less of the product. And with this, this is um, paraben free. So let's go into this little bag of tricks here. Now this is all like what I get in my box relaxers and like um, from Gentrip. This is the neutralizing shampoo here. Um, this is like a conditioner from Dark and Lovely. Um, now my relaxer of choice is a gentle treatment, but I can use other relaxers because I can um, use yellow out and some other things I have to get the discoloration out my hair. Now with general treatment, with for the, um, they have a um, relaxer for gray hair. And that relaxer has its own yellow out, which is marvelous. I love it. So when you get that box conditioner, it has, I mean, that it's not box conditioner it's a box relaxer it has everything you need in it to do your hair to relax your hair wash your hair condition your hair and take the discoloration out your hair it's all in that box so now let's move on to shimmering lights now i have a video on the shimmering lights matter of fact shimmering lights and band two i have a video talking about each one of these the benefits and the cons against both of them. Now this is not natural either, not I think about it. But I use this and I use it very lightly because it has a blue base on it. It has a purple base. And what happens is if you use too much of this or if you um, use it too often, what it does is it will turn your gray purple. It will more like a lavender, not purple, but more like a lavender. And is it depends on how much gray hair you have. I have quite a bit of gray hair. I, I am good and silver here. I'm pretty white. And so for me, I can't use this number but every once in a while. I will use it after I relax my hair, but I only use a little bit and I mix it with shampoo and rub it in my hand so I can try to rub it almost as clear as possible. But I now this is Shea Moisture. It's the Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. I've been keeping it around. <laughs> but um, I did like it when I used it and I can't remember if it kept me moisture or, you know, kept it with moisture in my hair or not. But Mostly anything I use from Shea Moisture and Carol's Daughter, I pretty much like most of the things. This is another wash and go leave in conditioner. This is from Carol's Daughter. Now, I have not used this yet. And I do believe I got it on sale to use it, but I put it back up in here and forgot I had it. Now this macadamia, I wasn't the biggest fan of this, this macadamia. And I'm, I don't even know why I'm still holding on to it, honestly. I think I'm holding on to it for my daughter. But this is the Ultra Rich Moisture Shampoo. Now, one thing I will say, it had a wonderful lather to it. I will say that. I do remember that. But outside that, mm, it has no added sulfates, free of parabens, and gluten. Gluten-free. Now, here is a Pantene product. Now, this Pantene is a heat um, primer. I've used this one time and it was okay. I think I got the wrong one. I was watching, um, she went to um, the Pantene headquarters and they were to the lab and they were talking about it, but I think I picked up the wrong heat protector. I need to go back and watch that um, video again. Hopefully I can remember and find it. But I, wa I was looking for a, a heat protector and like I said, I don't do a lot of flat ironing on my hair. I don't do a ton of blow drying. I'm more of a hair dryer person. So that's this. So I used it the one time. What did I think? Mm, didn't think too much about it. <laughs> so it was okay. So this is Garnier, Garnier um, Fruit Teas. And this is a damage repairing treat. It's a one minute hair mask and this is the pomegranate ashtray and this too is natural. So I I did kind of like it. I wasn't the biggest fan. It wasn't like you know oh man I got to keep putting this in my routine. 
I have this, I was doing a trial size of this. This is called the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo. Now, as we know, my hair came out, or I pulled it out mostly, and I'm trying to thicken it back up. So I am trying this. Now this is not natural either. So this is something I am trying out though. It has a very nice lather to it. Okay, this is the Maui Volcanic Ash Scalp Care Mask for dull congested hair. This was okay. Now you know I am a Maui fan, which I would definitely be sharing what I'm a Maui fan about, but I am not the biggest fan of this. This is not one I would jump on board for. You know, a great job on my hair of kind of giving it a little moisture and stuff, but I don't think it did what it said it does. Nothing I would go right home about, you know? So this is Hicks Eggs Edge Control. And I do like this. And I'm not a person that lay down no baby hairs and all that, but um, when I am in between those relaxers and I am looking for my hair to um, the edges, sometimes, you know, because they need relaxing, I'll, you know, put a little bit on there to try to, you know, extend, to lay them down. This works wonders. So I do like the Hicks Edge Control. This um, detoxifying charcoal conditioner. <laughs> Something I found in Target. It was on clearance and I thought, let me pick it up. So <clears throat> I picked this up to try. I just haven't tried it yet. This is Isa Plus neutralizing shampoo. This is what I use after I um, relax my hair to stop the processing, to stop my hair from processing from the relaxer. So this is what the neutralizing shampoo does. Um, most of the time it comes in the kit, but I don't know why I bought this, but I have it just in case I don't have enough or I run out of something. I have some on hand. Here are a few conditioners. Oh, I guess I can get rid of this one. It was open by Shea Moisture. This first one in this plastic bag is um, it's the Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silk and Treatment Mask. So I used that one before and it was okay. It wasn't nothing overly excited. I liked it. And what's in the back of that um, is the same thing as this one. This is another Shea Moisture. And these I use and I will sit on my head for a long time, like hours. I will keep on a, a deep mask, a deep treatment mask. Now I like this one a lot. It's in a purple package. I like this one a lot. And what's in here is my all ride or die, faithful to no end, is Maui Moisture. As you can see, that was on clearance. That's why I had it. And this is a conditioner, so I have an extra conditioner. And this stays in my shower. So I already have a conditioner and a shampoo in my shower. This was on clearance and I just picked it up as a backup. Um, I haven't used it in a while because I've been using other products, but I love it. I have a video on this and I'll put it on the end cards or I'll link it somewhere around here um, for you. So if you're looking for something that's inexpensive, I always suggest trying this. Now this last drawer is just where I have some of my um, equipment and um, some hair from when I got my hair braided. And um, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it that's down here. A couple of flat irons. Now these flat irons are so old. And when I say old, I mean old. <laughs> This is a wand and which I haven't used because I haven't had long, had hair long enough to use it. My daughter was using these. This right here is for woo, when my hair was short. If you've been around, you know I had some short, 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 short hair. Oh, baby, these things I needed to catch all them little kitchens. It was catching them kitchens. Little getting close and getting up, up close and personal. <laughs> I have, oh, put water in here sometimes. Now, I used to would use um, a lot of body years ago. 
and I would put a lighter body in here years and years ago. But I have this and I haven't put anything in it lately. Oh, I'll put water if I'm trying to do a ride because sometimes it takes me a minute when I'm riding. If I haven't done it in a while, it takes a minute. So my hair would get dry. So I would use this with just water. Okay, so then here is some braid hair that I was using. So those are all the products that I have in my arsenal right now that I've been using or plan to use soon that I have not used yet. I would like to thank you guys for watching and taking this time out with me. And I look forward to seeing you beautiful people in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Maybe I want you to keep me in. So maybe I won't have to admit it.